Hello viewers, welcome back. It is time that we continue with free energy generators, but this time where we will do something different. It is time that we begin to explore the flywheel systems. So the systems which basically use the motor as input and they have generator as output. So basically you need an energy, but you will get a higher output power on the generator than the input you invested into the system via flywheel system. So over there, there is a chess chamber first flywheel system and let's, let us see now the drawings, how does it look like and how it should work. Alright, so let's see this amazing flywheel system from chess chamber. So let me turn it around that you see that how I design it, it looks very nice. And I'll try to explain how he managed to get the output power three times higher than the input power in his flywheel system. So you can see we have in total, uh, we have in total one, two, three, four, five, five flywheels, and then the first and the second is uh, on the motor, and on the generator the last one. Yeah? So it will be totally, uh, totally six. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually seven. So totally seven flywheels, uh, which will produce output energy bigger than the input energy. So what's the idea? So, so he claims that uh, uh, this on the left side is the generator which gives 750 watts of power and he in the end gets 2300 watts on the generator uh, on the other side. Yeah? So basically he can in the end disconnect the, this generator from power when, when this is, uh, produces enough speed and then system is self-sustained and of course it gives 1500 approximately excess energy of watts so let's see so you can see that um, uh, as, as it's here described is 1400 rpms is at the motor yeah? so standard 50 hertz motor and then first flywheel on the motor itself is 2.75 inches this is transferred via belt to 5 inches on the same shaft we have 8 inches wheel so it will be Again, a bigger speed, yeah. So then uh, on the four inches, so he will he'll get a little bit more in the end, 1,576 RPM. Then on this shaft is also a flywheel, 10 kilograms. So this is what will give our free energy because of the momentum and the kinetical energy which will be produced by the motor. Yeah? And then on the same shaft is 9 inches, transferred to the 4.5 inches, which will double the speed to 3146 RPM. So that's basically it. So, uh, so what, what he says additionally to this uh, very simple setup, if you ask me, but uh, it was, let's say, experimented to, to be possible, is that uh, these belts should be loose they should not be tensioned too much yeah this uh, these belts should be loose that uh, when the, this motor start to spin then they, they create some kind of torque yeah, in tension they create tension on the on the wheels which actually transfers itself to the kinetic energy yeah increased by this flywheel the 10 kilogram flywheel uh, in the middle which is drawn red so basically this is the chess chamber flywheel system which gives three times more uh, output energy than the input energy it can be self-sustained just when you uh, so when you reach the speed and you get this 2400 watts on the motor you should be able to disconnect your motor from the supply and supply it from the generator plus you have an excess energy uh, out of the system so this is basically it so Hello viewers, so that was the chess chamber flywheel system. You, you saw that it gives the twice the output the speed than we have the input speed on the motor. So basically 3000 some RPMs are on the output and via this flywheel system and this loose system of belts he is able to get free energy out of this flywheel system. Can it really work? Yeah, there is some videos on YouTube, please search them, you will see that this system does work if, if it's a fake I don't know but it's really interesting design and and it does have sense for this to work if uh, kinetic energy can be preserved and with this tension uh, actually increased in, in, the, in the whole system
So for this is for now it. I will explore a little bit more this flywheel system because there is many of them on the patent pages of the Google. So I will try to do one by one how I found them and try to explain them to you. So this is it for this video. Until next video, please stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.